The cracks in the ruling of Progressive Congress APC seems to be widening ahead of next weekend's elections. The governors of Kaduna State, Nasser Arafa, his Kano State counterpart, Omar Ganduje, as well as that of Jigawa Badoru Abubakar, claimed that there, were, there was a plan to truncate the country's democracy and force a military rule. They insisted that the policy on the Naira redesign was aimed to stop the APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, from winning the presidential election. They have vowed to disobey the president's orders with regards to the Naira redesign policy. In a state broadcast, Governor El Rafai asked residents to continue using the old Naira notes, urging them to stand up strongly for democracy, peace and national unity. The Central Bank of Nigeria constantly alluded to the fact that the policy also targets politicians who have accumulated a huge war chest for vote buying during the forthcoming elections. It is now clear that the president has been deceived by the Central Bank of Nigeria and some elements in his government into buying into this overarching narrative in the name of ensuring free and fair elections in 2023. They also sought to achieve any one or more of the following objectives. Number one, to create a nationwide shortage of cash so that citizens are incited to vote against APC candidates across the board, resulting in massive losses for the party in all the elections. Number two, ensure that the cash crunch is so serious, along with the contrived and enduring sh fuel shortage existing since September 2022, that the 2023 elections do not hold at all, hold leading to an interim national government to be led by a retired army general. And number three, sustain the climate of shortage of fuel, food and other necessities leading to mass protests, violence and breakdown of law and order that will provide a fertile foundation for a military takeover. In the pursuit of these objectives, the Central Bank of Nigeria and these other disgruntled federal officials have so far convinced the president that it is fine for ordinary citizens to be dispossessed of their hard-earned money. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.